friends, wizards, witches, and muggles, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today is a very special video because I'm finally answering all of your curious questions about my magical shop that I'm gonna be opening called The Lost Culture. And if you're thinking, whoa, hang on a minute, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, episode one of my renovation series is out for you to enjoy now. Click the link in the description down below or head over to the video up here in a little link. But yes, I'm opening a magical shop. All the links and information will be down below, but let's get cracking because you guys have asked me so many questions. If you want to know a lot more about the Lost Cauldron, the process of the renovation, what's going to be happening, when, where, all the who's, what's and ifs and how's, then keep on watching. And hey, if you are brand new here, firstly, hello, welcome. Don't forget that you can click the subscribe button if you would like to become part of our weird magical online family. But let's go because you guys had a lot of questions, let me tell you. The first question is who are the other founders of the Lost Cauldron shop? So it's quite simple. There are two founders of the shop. One is myself and the other one is my very good friend Leslie. He's lovely. He's a Ravenclaw though I'm pretty sure he should be a Slytherin. We have so much in common. The same tastes on things. It's quite uncanny. So yes there are two founders to the Lost Cauldron. What do you find is the most challenging part in the process of opening a shop? There are so many elements to opening a shop. The renovation process has a million parts to it. I'm also doing a lot of this by hand. We're doing it ourselves. We've built all the shelving. We've done all the paintwork. We've done all the decor. There's just so many moving parts. Then there's the back end of everything, which is all like the website, finding accountants and all of that kind of thing. There's just so many moving parts. And I think it can be quite overwhelming, but overall, I think if you keep up with organization and your to-do list and your project management, it's okay and feels a little bit less overwhelming, but we take a week at a time. I think the hardest part is there being so many different things to remember and things that need to be done, especially before opening. It's, it's the biggest project I've ever taken on. Perhaps the most popular and frequently asked question, will you do online orders for those not in the UK? I will be vague on this. We may be selling some limited exclusive items online eventually. It's not gonna be straight away because the store is our priority. Is it expensive to open a store? The simple answer to this is yes. It's not a cheap thing to do, especially when we want to do it. We've got a very specific vision in mind. It is really expensive, but in the long term, we're hoping that it will make that money back. That's the whole point of it. <laughs> Are you going to create your own products? This is another popular question. And the answer is yes. We will have a few Lost Cauldron products of our own. Think candles, our own range, our own enamel pins, maybe tote bags, maybe t-shirts in the future, who knows? Maybe some prints and greetings cards. Let me know what you want to see in a comment for Lost Cauldron merch when you visit. I would love to know. Will Cherry stand and work in her shop or is she only going to run it? I would love to see her there. This is a great question. Again, it's been asked quite often. Yes, I will be working in the shop, but it's not going to be full time. We are going to have full time staff to run the Lost Cauldron. It is not a guarantee that I will be there, but I hope you enjoy the shop without me in it if, I, if I'm not there. What are you going to sell in the shop? What aren't we gonna sell in the shop? <laughs> Everything that would appeal to people that love fantasy, magical, whimsical, witchy things. If I'm gonna be like really broad in like my genres, stationery, homeware, jewelry, maybe some confectionery. What else are we saying? Enamel pins, like so many things. Like I cut to the point I cannot list them all, but plushies as well. Like there's gonna be just so much. And what's been really fun and probably the most fun part of this is being able to curate the items that are going to be sold in the Lost Cauldron. Like I have picked them all. It's going to be something that's ongoing and I'm going to keep finding bits of magic. You guys are going to recommend things to me and maybe you're a small business and you want to see if we can wholesale you. Like it's going to be a constant train of magical items that we keep getting to the store. I'm hoping to get a lot of new products in all the time. So we're going to sell a lot. 
I wasn't sure whether to answer this one, but I feel like I get asked every day and it's important to. What happened to Ordinary Owl and I, is your shop going to feature those items? The short story is it doesn't exist anymore. I closed it. It's not coming back. The clothes aren't coming back. So if you are new here, I had a company called Ordinary Owl that sold magical wares and accessories to people that like a magical lifestyle. I know you guys loved it. I know you guys want the clothes to come back, but I'm sorry, they will not be coming back. Um, it's a completely different venture. I like the path that I'm on now. I enjoyed it for what it was at the time, but I am sorry to say that that is closed indefinitely what town will the shop be in? So obviously I have given you a very vague area of the Lost Cauldron is going to be in the county of Derbyshire. It's actually going to be in Matlock. We are however not open yet so I'm not going to give the exact location. It is a beautiful town to visit up in the Peak District if you've never been before. It will make a beautiful day out if you do come specifically to visit our shop. There are other beautiful shops in the area that you can visit. There's a lot of nature around and uh, yeah it's just it's just such a cozy little town what made you want to open the shop in the first place again great question I think for me I have worked at home and on my own for most of it for the past 13 years yes I had cameraman Chris living with me and working with me for around three years of that but for the most part this is a really lonely job I really miss the social interaction not only that I have visited so many stores over the years and done shop tours I just want to run something and have something of my own like I was just so inspired like I feel like I have so much magic to share with the world and like my own vision of it that I was like I could make something really special here not only that because I have this job and I get to speak to you guys how cool to have my own business where I get to come face to face and talk to you and meet you and have a human interaction that's not across a screen I think for me that's going to be so cool and to meet so many like-minded people in a place that I know that like we will get on if you want to visit the lost cauldron we're gonna have something in common already because you like magic you like whimsy you like fantasy i felt like it's something that i would be good at i know magic it's very outside the comfort zone i i needed a new challenge i needed a new risk and i'm ready for a new chapter i'm still going to be doing this i'm not going anywhere but i needed something fresh to get my teeth into and this is it from a fellow mushroom lover will you have lots of mushroom themed goodies hell yes you won't be disappointed how old is the building you're in now this is something that i actually need to do more research into but i do know that it's been there for a very long time i have found out since renovating this place that it has been a green grocer's it's been a sweet shop in the past as well that used to sell like bonfire toffees it's also been a hair salon i think it was i don't know if it was a post office or a bank at some point so it has got a history and it's a history that i definitely want to look more into as soon as i find more out i will let you know but this place has been there for a very very long time how can a small business approach you with their goods? If you wanna get in touch with us, please don't hesitate. If you think that your products will be a good fit for the Lost Cauldron, then please do get in touch via direct message over on Instagram. All of the information will be down below and we will get in touch as soon as possible. How did you think of the name? Now this is where we have a good story. We found the most beautiful, authentic cast iron cauldron, me, Leslie and his partner in person we found it in this antique store and we were like we need that we bought it together it was actually our first purchase before we'd even found the premises for the lost cauldron because of that purchase we knew that it had to be themed around the cauldron because this cauldron is going to be in the lost cauldron it's been found there's going to be a whole story about it <laughs> but from there on out we had to brainstorm and <laughs> It was a challenge. Thinking of a store name or a company name are some of the hardest tasks when it comes to 
making new businesses. But we came up with every adjective or descriptive word that could go with cauldron that you could ever imagine. And I think we had a short list of the bubbling cauldron, which we thought was too generic, the cozy cauldron. I really liked the alliteration of that, but it sounded a little bit too much like a tea room, like a coffee shop or something, which maybe, maybe one day. <laughs> but yeah, so there was that. There was the lost cauldron, which was my top favorite. And then there was one more. I think it was the crooked cauldron, but someone pointed out that crooked has two names. Obviously this crooked is in wonky, but crooked is also if you're doing like illegal activity. So we didn't want that misinterpretation of that word. So eventually we went with the lost cauldron and I think it was the perfect name. Will you be selling any lost cauldron merch? Yes. Is it wheelchair accessible? It will be. I actually had a delivery today of our portable accessibility ramp. So yes, of course. Also, the shop itself is also very accessible. We have a center island, which you will be able to access the full circumference of the shop with ease, but that is one of our utmost priorities. So yes, we are going to be wheelchair accessible. Will you keep making videos once the shop is open? Absolutely. I'm not going anywhere. This channel's not going anywhere. I may even continue doing Lost Cauldron video updates from time to time. But yes, of course I will. Uh, in the time being, I'm really enjoying documenting the renovation process. I can't wait to give you an empty shop tour. I can't wait to give you a full shop tour stocking the shop, the grand opening, like everything. I'm just so excited. It's, it's kind of opened a whole new avenue of content for me. And I'm so glad that you guys seem really enthusiastic about coming along this journey with us. Will you have plushies at the shop? I have got a few boxes that are just full of plushies. And when I tell you, we've got some of the cutest owl plushies that you could ever imagine. There's the cutest little bats as well. And there's tiny baby owls. Yes, I love a plush. And I've even bought some like vintage storage for them as well for the shop. So cannot wait. Is there an opening date planned? So excited. Now, obviously I've been very vague about the opening and saying we're gonna be opening spring 2024, which is still the plan. We did have an original date, which I have extended for a month because I think more realistically, it just feels a better time to open. It's gonna be somewhere around the end of April. I'm not giving a specific date yet because I don't actually know it yet. And I don't wanna then say a date and then have to pretend push it back a few days or a week or something so I don't want to let you down but it's still going to be spring 2024. Will the dog be shot? No sorry <laughs> I'll try that again. Will the shop be dog friendly? Yes it will be you can bring your furry friends or witches familiars like with you it's absolutely fine as long as they are kept on a lead and they are well behaved but yes I love people's dogs so of course you are welcome to bring your furry friends with you to the lost cauldron 100 percent what days will you be open these are subject to change at the moment we are planning to be seven days a week times to be confirmed fingers crossed can I get an autograph? If I am there, please just politely ask and your wish will be my command. <laughs> so yes, of course you can. What will be placed in the cupboards? If you follow us over on the Lost Cauldron Instagram, you will see that I have made some cupboards on the lower shelves of all of our fitted shelving units. And this is quite simple. Our storage room is tiny. So we needed to create as much usable storage as possible and what better way to design it into our shop. So yes, we have designed a lot of storage on the shop floor. We're gonna design them with like apothecary, like faux apothecary drawers. They're gonna look beautiful, but yes. Yeah, so the cupboards on the bottom of our shelvings will be for staff only, but yeah, as simple as that, it's for stock. Okay, that was a lot of questions. 
If you have any more, please don't hesitate to either leave them over on the Lost Cauldron Instagram page or in a comment down below. I will be sure to be reading all of those and answer as many as possible. Again, I would like to say a humongous thank you to everyone that has decided to jump aboard the train that is on this journey to the opening of my first magical shop. Spring's on the horizon, which means the grand opening is too, and there's a lot of work to still be done. I will see you very soon in the next episode of the Lost Cauldron Renovation Series, so make sure that you are subscribed, hit the notification bell, check out all of the Lost Cauldron socials from behind the scenes, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! And just in case anyone wants to ask, this beautiful serpent dress is from Disturbia. <laughs> I know that some of you are going to ask. All right, bye!